Hi everyone, Zoltan here and this time I wish to show you two very decent, very beefy video cards. So these uh, graphics cards are from London, from one of my best friends David. So thank you David for sending me these cards. So this one is the GeForce GTX 285 from EVGA and actually it's a Mac Edition card. So it's a really large card compared to the others and it has a very unique cooler blower type solution cooler, yeah, exactly. So it should uh, take the air through this uh, fan and send it out through these holes out of your PC case and usually this is a very hot card it can run around 85 degrees in general and it needs two 6-pin power connector as well and this is an audio throughput cable you can connect it to your uh, uh, sound card and actually I think you can also use this if you are using a DVI to HDMI uh, adapter then you have to use this extra connector to send audio through because uh, yeah this is incapable of sending the audio signal so basically it's a DirectX 10 card and it's like two GTX 8800 on one chip or almost around in performance and uh, it has 240 CUDA cores and it's a 512 bit bus memory so you have a lot of uh, memory chips actually on the other side with the PCB and it has one gigabyte of memory uh, DDR3 but still it's just under 200 uh, gigabyte per second um, of memory bandwidth which is, is really great it's around 180 or something I will put in the to the retro PC and uh, test it out check it on the GPUZ application you know if I mentioned it has three-way SLI and it requires a 550 watt PSU I will use it with a 430 watt one so I'm not sure it will be enough but it's really important if it if it should have um, high amperage like 28 ampere on the 12 volt rail of your power supply so my Nexus power supply is, is just really strong in that sense and I hope it will be enough to support this if not then I will try a dual PSU solution so I just can have enough look on it it's really beautiful it's plastic but really unique looking cooler and it's awesome it's a very large card so I think this is the strongest DirectX 10 card single GPU at least because you have the 295 as well which is a dual GPU solution from this card but less uh, memory bandwidth and lower clocks but this time yeah it's, it's really nice I will make a tearing apart um, applying new thermal paste cleaning this card I'm planning to do such video and I hope you will enjoy it as well so this is the card I'm most interested in but also I have a stronger one this beautiful XFX ghost thermal technology card it's aluminium it's really massive but not really heavy really beautiful with those heat pipes here also very modern like 2DVI and HDMI and many display ports I guess uh, so yeah it, it's beautiful it's a 78 you have 78 sorry about this 7870 so it's like a 280x card almost maybe just a little lower on the clocks and it's a 2 gigabyte version it's just enough for all the modern games actually it's it's the first GCN card and 
it basically supports DirectX 12, almost all of those new technologies, and it's uh, enough for barely any game. <laughs> but also, it's very, very power hungry, and as I heard, it's uh, not noisy but hot actually. It requires a 6 and an 8 pin connector, so <laughs> I'm really sure my power supply is just not enough. It's it's like really new. It's still this uh, little plastic or rubber or whatever on, on this cooler, but <laughs> it looks like a high-end card or something. It's not the highest end, but still, yeah, it's looking good. It's like the general XFX black uh, PCB. I have it on my um, yeah the 9800 GT. Yeah. Also, it's XFX are uh, liking this kind of PCB. So this is a very nice card. I'm not sure I will actually test it because I don't have the right uh, PC for this card. I could try it actually. It has XP drivers as well for the 32 and the 64-bit Windows XP, which I'm having in the retro PC. But I don't know. It's just it's not a retro card. It's it's an older card and really strong one. It's just not for the retro PC. But this one, I actually will test it on Skyrim and the, the 3D marks. And for for a simple look, let me show you Skyrim because I'm not used to do any gameplay videos. So this is uh, 1280 by 1024 resolution, everything set to the lowest, and actually I have around 25-24 uh, frames per second with the lowest settings. It's playable, it's looking nice, but if you are looking at the textures, <laughs> everything is uh, extremely blurry and also uh, there is any fight going on it's just lagging like hell but yeah 20 is a sustainable frame rate of so 31 here it's really great so even if you're looking at the sky yeah it's too bright but 40 frames per second it's minimal graphic settings and it looks ugly but I was playing Skyrim on this for for a day or two and I enjoyed it. This is the Imperial side of the Civil War mission and they are just coming and coming and disappearing and so on. So this is the 2600 XT from AMD. A very uh, low-end card, lower mid-range at its time, so an old card actually. And I have the Q6600 running at 3.0 GHz, 4 cores, and yeah, it's absolutely not CPU bound with this graphics card. So I will switch to the 285 GTX and see how it's it's going. It should max out Skyrim actually in this resolution with anti-aliasing and so on. So it's a bit long video and uh, because of it Thank you so much for watching and please comment, ask and anything and I will make a proper review of this card very soon in the next video with tests and, and so on. I'm trying my best. <laughs> Thank you so much. Please subscribe. It would mean so much for me. Um, thank you so much for watching. Once again, have a nice day. Bye bye.